taking advantage of the integration strategies. The advantages are simple and can be achieved by creating a relationship with an organisation in a new market. The market may be at home or overseas. The benefit is simple. You can save cash, not go into debt, which you would otherwise do if you tried to do it all by yourself. The simplest example is when moving into a new marketplace, particularly overseas, that partner or that acquired organisation knows everything about the culture, the rules, the regulations and all the other competitors. This could take years. Why not save time? So how are you able to use the industry value chain to determine who has the power? Normally an organisation or a link in the industry value chain that has the fewest competitors. A simple example would be three distributors compared to 200 manufacturers. Who has the power there? The distribution. If you do have a position of power, you can exercise pressure over organisations both upstream and downstream in the organisational value chain. Some of these pressures could include lower costs, quality standards, delivery schedules to minimise your stock level and the introduction of innovative product features. We're searching for the power in the industry value chain. If you can achieve power, you will make money and you will save money. Identifying the potential of distribution outlets. You can also use the industry value chain to identify distribution outlets by looking downstream in your chain. By doing this, you can often cut out a link in the chain. If you remove the links, less links equals more profit. Determining exit. First of all, have a look at your industry value chain. Competitors, suppliers, customers. The three main options here are the trade sale, who do we sell to, could be one of those three. Initial public offering, we go to the stock market, or a management buyout, you actually buy out your investors. With a trade sale, it's very interesting to look at upstream, downstream, competitors, potentials. Why would they want to buy you? What have you got? The sale is always easier if you have a high strategic value. Is it your power? Is it your intellectual property? Is it your customers? Is it your cash? You must determine what it is they want to make your sale attractive. So what? The industry value chain. Many organisations and individuals still don't know where they are in the chain. If you don't know where you are, you don't know where the power is. If you don't know where the power is, you can't play. Use your industry value chain to determine where the power is, where you are, increase your choices and grow your business. Now it's your turn. Discover who your suppliers are and their suppliers. Discover who your customers are and their customers. Discover who your competitors are. It's very important. Use this information to create an industry value chain to increase your likelihood of success. So what's coming up next? Now you've determined who has the position and power in your market, we'll introduce the other competitive forces that will have an effect on your idea when we look at Michael Porter's five forces model. <music>